Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Video True and welcome back to Pokemon Shield, where you join me here in the bright beacon of civilization and technological progress that is Stoke-on-Trent. Yeah, Galar is sort of very loosely modelled on Britain, as it turns out. Still, apparently, something very exciting is going to be happening in this massive building right over there. The opening ceremony for the gym challenge, however that works. But... We're not going to be rushing straight there immediately. No, 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 no. First, we need to go around, figure out what's going on in the city, find any good stuff that might be hiding in the corners. Diddly, diddly, day. Like right here, we have what I'm pretty sure is supposed to be Pokemon Pratt from the colours and whatnot. So, okay, do we actually have ourselves? We do have a Pokemon coffee shop. Marvellous. And apparently, okay, Hoot Hoot, that's adorable because it's supposed to be a coffee shop. So therefore, there's a Hoot Hoot who stays awake all night because of the coffee. Oh, that's adorable. Also, uh, that's a Growlithe right there. Where did you get this Growlithe? I want a Growlithe. And aha, here we go. Intel. Gym leader Kabu is amazing. He's older than my dad, but he's still nowhere near retiring. I hope he's still the gym leader when it's my turn to do the gym challenge. Okay, so some old guy called Kabu, who is well known and liked locally, is apparently going to be my first gym challenge. Ah yes, and this is that new slightly terrifying cream Pokemon, isn't it? Yes, yes you're the cream Pokemon, and apparently you help out in the coffee shop, so like we, we literally put you in the coffee. Okay, I've decided I don't want a coffee anymore actually, this just got weird. Also, bonus point to this NPC, who's the first person other than me to have a problem with Leon's cape. Because the sponsorship logos are a little bit in your face, it must be said. And apparently this isn't just a Pratt, it's a Battle Pratt. So, uh, battle here once a day. If you win, it will give you a treat on the house. Oh, go on then. Who am I battling? Is it... is it you? Okay, I'm guessing it's going to be you. Yes, we're just going to battle the barista for free coffee. Absolutely marvellous. So, Combi! He chooses a Combi. I go for Krabby! Krabby happens to be out first. Okay. I feel like Krabby... Oh, yeah. Krabby's flipping got this. So, Krabby, just go at it with the Metal Claw. Ah, but he's got a special attack. Gust is special, not physical. So, Krabby is more about physical defence, but look at that attack. Look at that flipping attack right there. Marvellous. And yeah, if I was to get really lucky, then Krabby's Metal Claw would actually make, yeah, his attack go up. I got it wrong previously. It's Metal Claw makes Krabby's attack go up, but it's only like a 5% chance. So, uh, go on. Keep on giving it a go, Krabby. Sooner or later, you'll figure it out. And there goes uh, the killing blow. Uh, Combi goes down, uh, and Stuffle in the background is starting to level up too. Attack already at 29 at level 14. Uh, That'll do. That's not bad at all. And, uh, okay, it was literally just one combi because, ah, cafe. Vaguely, you know, honey-flavoured drinks or something. Right, so he's just turning all his Pokemon into drinks. And I get myself a Lumio's Galette. Whatever one of those is precisely. Ah, I see. Heals all states conditions. So basically just an early game full heal for free. Marvellous. Actually, hang on. The Growlithe just gave me a thought because... I'm a Pokemon trainer with a Pokedex. Oh my goodness. So Growlithe, as it turns out, can basically spawn literally anywhere, including, ah, there's an island in the middle of one of the lakes I can't get to yet because I don't have Surf as yet. So uh, yeah, that's going to be a brand new area over there that's a bit different from everything else. But Growlithe can spawn everywhere if the weather's correct. The weather's actually really, really flipping important. So uh, I just got unlucky last time that this was the only area where there was really bright sunlight. But if a different area with lower level Pokemon had bright sunlight today, I could get myself a Growlithe right now. Okay, I might go and check outside of the wild area again in a second just to check on today's weather. And uh, hello there, nice person outside a record store is willing to give me uh, TR13, focus energy. Okay, hang on. TM versus TR. Need to figure this one out. So, uh, use takes a deep breath. Focuses. Critical hits land more easily. Fine, I know about focus energy. That's been there for bloody ages. TRs are vintage. You can use them to have your Pokemon learn rare moves. They break after one use. Aha! TMs are reusable. TRs are once only. Gotcha. And some of the city for the time being is blocked off. So if I try and walk this way, two people are talking about a lift. And apparently I can't get past them. 
even though I could blatantly get past them, but... Okay, fine. I'm not allowed past them. These two guys are basically just sheep on the road today. And we've also got ourselves, uh, what, a hairdresser or a barber or something here. Hello, is this for me or the Pokemon? So, hair versus makeup. Okay, I'm happy with my hair, I think, but what are my options in terms of makeup? Okay, I can fiddle with my eyebrows. Gotcha. Alternatively, we've got ourselves, hang on, is this, wait, is this... I... No, this is actually the colour. The colour of my eyebrows. Got it. And also the colour of my eyes, which I can turn into rainbow swirls. Or literal flames. Or love hearts. Or star studded. Okay, that's... That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna deny. But in the end, I think I'll settle for green with some nice eyelash extensions. I think that works with my jacket. And a random man outside another record shop, because apparently this single high street can support two different vinyl record shops, but whatever, has given me some high-tech earbuds. Okay, so, uh, strange earbuds that allow you to freely control the volume of various sounds. Aha! I've heard about this guy. Yes, because this game for some reason doesn't have audio settings. If you want to change the audio settings, you've got to find and speak to this guy, who gives you the items. There's the audio settings menu, which is... Quite frankly baffling, but there we go. And yeah, there's nowhere else to go aside from up in the lift for the time being. So let's leave that for now. I'm just going to do a very quick whip round the wild area. Just to see if the weather conditions today are different. And as a result of that, whether I can get myself anything new. Here we go. So this is different already. Because now it's snowing immediately outside the area with the steps. So as a result of that, if I just check out this area. We've now got ourselves... Hang on, what are you guys, that is... Right, that's one of the stuffles, uh, together with... Uh, hang on, that's, uh... What are you called? The basic form of the Abomas Snow. Right, so you guys are here now. Okay, I'll be having one of you. Snover, that's him, I forgot the name. I also forgot that Steel is apparently super effective against either grass or ice. I think it must be ice, so I sort of killed the Snover. Okay, Stuffle, this one's on you, level 13 Snova, and yeah, we can't let this battle go on for too long, because you might, you know, accidentally kill this thing, so uh, just give it a basic tackle, your attack's pretty good, and yeah, that label, oh, I love its flailing motion though, that's adorable, and it comes in with uh, some form of grass attack, and the hail, you yeah, know, we're taking damage pretty quickly here, but that's fine, we'll leave the snow section momentarily, I love its little flail animation, that's absolutely gorgeous. Is he going to take another one? I'm not sure whether he can take another one. Maybe we go straight into the balls at this point. Yeah, we'll just toss a ball and we'll see what happens. So just go. And down and B as the ball was closing. So this should be absolutely guaranteed. And there we go. Down and B. Never fails. Fun typing this thing, by the way. Grass Ice. Fourth generation Pokemon evolves into a Bomber Snow. And Jeff, I recall correctly... Wasn't even that bad. This thing is uh, neutral, a bit on the slow side. Attack and special attack is as it should be. Pokemon summons a Hailstorm when it enters the battle. So that's good for it, but of course, yeah. Potentially, if it dies, something else might come out that doesn't actually, you know, enjoy being in Hail. Starts off with Mist, Leaf Edge. I'm not familiar with Leaf Edge. Just a basic, yeah, Power 40 Grass attack. Powder Snow, Special Ice. And Mist protects you from stats being lowered. Not terrible. We'll set it to a box for the time being, so maybe we'll have a think about that one. But for the time being, yeah, you just go back to the box. I've got to say, I love how much variety there is depending on, yeah, the weather conditions. So this is... Uh, hang on, where are we right now? Uh, we've just entered the... There's an ice cream cone in the sun. I feel like that's not going to end well for you. Yeah, for just a split second before things are update. Sometimes just for a split second you can get yourself something that shouldn't really be in that weather condition. And that is a... Uh, hello over there. What have we got over there? Growlithe! Yes! That's a Growlithe! That's sunshine! Please don't be very strong. That's a wild Growlithe. Oh, Flip. We might have a Growlithe. Yes. Right. Catch the Growlithe. Level 9. Well, we can definitely catch one of them. Stuffle, give it a poke. Okay, one tackle is good enough. Toss in a Pokeball. Let's see what we got here because uh, I love Growlithe. Growlithe is actually one of my favourite Pokemon. Growlithe and Arcanine are flipping great. And yeah, level 9. It won't be able to stand up to much. Okay, we might be willing to add this into the team. Okay, this one's jolly, which isn't actually perfect. Because yeah, that hurts special attack. And I don't really want that. So, uh, 
Not this particular one, but we are onto a good thing here. Okay, I've just been catching some more Growlithe. Krabby's leveled up and is trying to learn Protect. A very, very useful move indeed under certain situations. So, uh, yeah, this is basically a move that lets you avoid 100% of damage under all circumstances. You're just completely safe for that turn. You can use it repeatedly, but every turn you do, it gets half as effective. So, uh, yeah. Get rid of Harden, keep that, just in case there's like, you know, an emergency. Like someone starts charging a solar beam at you. And Reboot hits level 19 and learns Flame Charge. Now that, that sounds good. Oh yeah, physical fire attack, that's what I've been waiting for. Though, uh, I can't deny, a little bit on the weak side, only power of 50, but I see why. It actually raises the speed stat. Gotcha. Well, get rid of Growl. We won't be using Growl going forward. Oh, sometime later, we've got ourselves a winner. Right, Growlithe with the nature rash. Now, that's what I recognise from the old days. Uh, special attack up, special defence down. Okay, so, fun thing about Growlithe is it makes a good mix sweeper. It's got naturally very, very good attack and pretty darn good special attack. So... If I give it a nature that gives it better special attack, then this thing will be able to hit like a truck, whether it's using special or physical attacks, making it very, very flexible indeed. Plus, more importantly, it's a puppy. It's literally called the puppy Pokemon in the puppy decks. Now, it has been previously established that Growlithe's are very fun to hug because it's a fire type and thus it's really toasty. So obviously, we're having one, yes. And I'm going to be honest, Jamper, you are now the vastly inferior puppy, so goodbye. And even better, you literally start off with Flame Wheel. So yeah, power 60, accuracy 100, can actually burn the target. With a Pokemon with a decent attack, and of course same type attack bonus, that's going to be good. Bite, pretty darn powerful. Howl, really good ability, boosting the attacks out of both yourself and your allies. Leah, never flipping hurts. Good move set on this thing. Though as I need to nip back to the Pokemon Center and do a bit of healing regardless, that does remind me I should actually take this opportunity to check out a feature I haven't really looked at in detail yet. So, Man in the Pub, the Move Rememberer and Move Forgetter. What do you charge to remember a move? So you can have your Pokemon remember any move they should have had the chance to learn up until where they are now. Because sometimes when you catch Pokemon at high levels, they may have forgotten desirable moves they knew when they were younger. So, what's the charge going to be here? Because, uh, yeah, I just want to check whether any of my Pokemon that I picked up in the Wild Zone might have forgotten something pretty darn nice. Like Growlithe, for example, I'm pretty sure it does start off with Ember. So, uh, having access to a special fire attack would not be the worst thing in the world. So, go on then. Tell me more about this thing. Yeah, it's literally just Ember. So, uh, I'd be very happy to get rid of Leah to remember Ember again. The question is, uh, yeah, how much are you going to charge me, if anything? So, yeah, get rid of Leah. Don't need that at all, and... There's no charge. It's free. Right, well, that's bloody good. Now, Roselia. This is interesting. Obviously, we don't want to absorb because we've got Mega Drain, but... Growth is actually pretty darn nice, because growth is, yeah, a way of boosting your own attack. So, uh, if you wanted to set Roselia up to sweep the entire enemy team, might be a good way of doing it. Stun Spore also, uh, never flipping hurts. But, Mega Drain, Leech Seed, and Magical Leaf are all really good. Then again, Swift, we got out of a TM, not a TR. So, I could actually just get that back later, if I wanted to, and give this thing either growth or Stun Spore. The thing is, Roselia isn't really fast enough to be a sweeper, so uh, whether it's a good idea to bother giving it growth. Then again, you've got no, you don't have chlorophyll, doubling your speed inside sunlight. You've only got poison point, which is actually still really good. So uh, let's leave growth for the time being, but I will give you stun spore over swift. Actually, no, I've changed my mind, because if I do that, you've literally only got access to grass attacks. So uh, I'll leave it for the time being. And while Krabby is no special attacker, I would like it to have access to a water move. So it can remember Water Gun, even though it's not very good. I'd rather I have that than Leah. Now, that did leave me with some lovely spare Growlithe's. And someone in the world is going to want a Growlithe, because I'm pretty sure Growlithe and Vulpix in this generation, as in every generation actually, are part of a matching pair of version exclusives. So... Uh, how about we have a little Luxy at Ycoms here? So, uh, yeah, surprise trade. I can just put something up into trade and get something 
in return. So, go on then, I'll just offer up Growlithe and we'll just see if something magically falls out of the sky. So the game is now just searching for someone who feels like a Growlithe. I'm just offering a Growlithe off into space, so uh, we'll see if anyone wants that. While we're actually waiting on that, yes, I sent out a couple of Pidubs the other day. So are they actually back at this point? Here we go, multi-purpose fabric development. So, uh, what do I get for that? The Pidubs come back from the gig economy, which I'm just feeding slaves into. Hooray for me, for I'm the one that gets the glory. So, do they just get XP, or do I get anything else? They did an exceptional job. They received XP. A thousand XP too, not bad. So the client was very happy. As a result of that, Pidub has something to give me. I received... Uh, Okay, 200G. Not spectacular, to be honest. Okay, nothing else new as yet, because, yeah, it's just basic normal weather at the starting area. But, Onyx, time for me and you to have a flipping rematch. Because now Roselia's level 17, I have got faith, damn it. This is four times super effective, in fact, for safety. Go for Mega Drain. Top up your health. So it's going to use a Dragon Breath. Might paralyze if we're unlucky. Oh dear. Oh flipping dear. Looks to me like I've got your flipping number, mate. Right, try it again. It's using curse on this occasion. Odd move. If you're a ghost type, cut your health in half and puts a curse on the opponent so they keep losing health. If you're not, your speed goes down, attack and defense goes up. Very odd move indeed, but on this occasion, it's not been spamming rock slide, so it goes the flip down. Can't capture it because, yeah, it's very strong, but... That's got to be a decent amount of... That's a decent amount of XP. Love it. Okay, it is sunny down in the little dappled grove over here. And we've got ourselves... Uh, you're not clay dolls, are you? Clay dolls, you're evolved form. What are you guys called? You're the ground psychic types from Baltoy. Generation 3, I think it might be. I'm not 100% sure on that one. I don't remember you being particularly exciting, though. I'm catching one for the Pokedex, but after that, we're done. Yeah, a bit of an odd little thing. So primarily a wall defensive and special defensive uh, does come with the very nice power trick ability. So if you want to, you can make it way more flimsy, but able to hit a lot harder. But I've never really liked the design of this thing, so it can just basically go in a box and never be seen again. Okay, but one thing I might be interested in, inside one of the Dynamax dens, uh, psychic flying, small bird creature, that's a Natu. I kind of like Natu, actually. Okay, let's flip and make this happen. Into the terrifying dimension we go with a bunch of friends and... Okay, I'm sorry. You're not terrifying. Even when you're very large, you're not terrifying, Natu. And my brand new Growlithe should be able to help with this very, very nicely indeed. Because my new Growlithe, yeah, right now it's got bites. No, no, no. Let's just Dynamax that up a little bit to Max Darkness. What does Max Flare do? That is, uh, okay, Intense Sun. Don't need that because no one else is a fire type. Someone brought a Togepi, that's adorable. Right, hit it with Max Darkness, please. And, more importantly, create the largest puppy who has ever puppied. Oh yeah, there we go. Massive dog, yes, biggest puppy in the world. Winning, screw you. Marvellous, basically doubled my health there. Yeah, now you're in trouble. I've got a massive flipping puppy. And he's going for Snorlax. You can hopefully take it because Snorlax is a bit of a beast. Yes, indeed, Snorlax is just flipping fine. Marvellous. Natu is fast, though. Natu is fast. And also, the battlefield just got weird. I don't know what that means, but I'm just going to basically punch Natu in the face because Natus are a bit on the flimsy side. I like Natu in its evolved form, Zatu. It's a fun little thing, so uh, yeah, I might well decide to just uh, give this one a bit of a go if we can catch it. And Snorlax is going in for a Giga Impact. Obviously, uh, that flipping hurts. And uh, Wobbuffet. Someone brought a Wobbuffet again, for goodness sake. Okay, one more Max Darkness should hopefully be enough to uh, finish it off. Now we just see whether or not we get lucky and actually get the capture. So it is now very vulnerable. Uh, Get the Pokeball on that, please. And yeah, Natu is... Uh, I've no idea what its catch rate is, or if catch rate is even still a thing in the game, but uh, it can't be that good. Natus are not that good, damn it. So uh, let's see if we get lucky here. And uh, that's a one. 
And that's a two. And in comes number three. I think we've got her. Yep, spot on. Got myself a Natu. And yet another try attack TM as well. So quirky, that is neutral nature. And yeah, it's a bit fast. Special attack is pretty good. Attack is fine, not very defensive. Starts off with stored power. Peck, which is unfortunately physical. Confuse Ray, always useful. And teleport. So use the switches place with a party Pokemon in waiting, if any. For wild Pokemon uses this move, it flees. Okay, kind of pointless, but whatever. And you know what, Wooloo? I don't think we're going to be spending too much more time in the wild zone right now. So you can just go and chill out in a box for a bit. We'll keep Natu with us just for fun. Okay, I am pretty happy with the team that we've got for the time being. Could do with a bit of leveling up, especially, yeah, Natu, uh, Growlithe, maybe Stuffle a bit. But I'm happy enough for the time being. We've got a good bit of variety here. We've got grass types, water types, fire types, psychic types, fighting types, and we've also got a good blend of Pokemon who are good at different things. So Krabby and Stuffle, more about physical attacks. Rosalia, much better at special attacks. Growlithe, bit of a mixed attacker. Natu, more about special attacks as well. So uh, we've got some good variety going on here, which is always good. And also, rather weirdly, we failed to find, you know, anybody who wants a Growlithe, which is quite frankly a bit odd as far as I'm concerned, but... Okay, if no one wants my Growlithe, then nobody gets my Growlithe. Okay, the reason no one wanted my Growlithe is because I'd sent it to local connection only and wasn't actually connected to the internet. And I'm just sitting at home right now. So, no, no one else in my own house wants a Growlithe. To be honest, Claire probably would want the Growlithe, but she just plays Pokemon on a file on the same Switch. So, that wasn't going to work out. Okay, now we're connected to the internet. Now, now we're going to try and give away the Growlithe again. Oh, something's happening. We're sending the Growlithe off to somebody. Okay, that is now a thing that has happened. Did we just catapult Growlithe into... I just got another flipping bunny. Okay, that's the one I didn't need. Then again, it's kind of nice to see it dancing again. Right, so that's a thing. Okay, can we sell the rest of the Growlithes too? You see, I've got a lot of Growlithes. It took me a few attempts to get this one I like with Rash on it. So I have got plenty of puppies to catapult out into the flipping ether. And hopefully, sooner or later, I'll get something good in return. Here we go. So long, Growlithe. Have fun all the way the flip over there. And goodbye. And what are we getting in return? Okay, we're just getting stuff we've already got. Oh, but it's actually called Blizzy. I've actually got myself one with a nickname. That's lovely. And apparently we're sending this Growlithe all the way to flipping Japan by the Luxie of it. So, are we going to get something Japanese in return? And, oh, blimey. We've got something evolved. I assume that's the evolved form of Tutel, right? So, yep. And it's got itself a Japanese name. I will take care of whatever that is. I can't actually, uh, can't actually read that. Right, Dreadnor, Got it. And this Growlithe has been traded for a Magikarp. Oh, that's just insulting. Oh, Growlithe, I'm so sorry. Oh, the next Growlithe is also going to Japan. Yeah, I really caught a lot of Growlithes, by the way, so we're getting something else from... Ooh, that's a C-Dot, isn't it? Yeah, that's a C-Dot from Generation 3, I believe. Yeah, that was from uh, Ruby. I never had that back in Generation 3, because I had Sapphire, though... Were they an emerald? I can't remember them being an emerald, but they may have been. Odd little thing, too. I believe it ultimately evolves after, yeah, a stone is used on it into a grass dark type at length. Though, uh, I'll be honest, I was never thrilled with the design. I will say the surprise trade is rather fun. Because, yeah, if you're catching a bunch of Pokemon because you want a particular, say, uh, nature or ability or whatever, it means you've actually got something fun to do with all the Pokemon you left over with afterwards. You can just, like, you know, toss them out into the ether and uh, maybe get some fun stuff back. Maybe not. Maybe it's just fun knowing you've got a Japanese Magikarp. And the final one gets me another C-Dot. Well, the two C-Dots shall be friends in that case. Okay, that's enough of that business. It's time to head up and see the opening ceremony because, yeah, until I've done that, I can't go any further in the game because the bridge is blocked off. So uh, here we flip it going. Oh, am I about to be ambushed by a rival by any chance? If so, oh no. It's flipping Leon. Hello, Leon. One look tells me you've become a trainer worthy of that endorsement I gave you. 
I am these days. Admittedly, I was sort of murdered by a Pelipper on my first day, but I'm doing much better now, thank you. And he's actually giving me a present, a piece of charcoal. Now that, I believe, boosts fire-type moves. And that will be very, very useful indeed for good old Growlithe. And that was it. He just wanted to give me some charcoal. Lovely. And out we go. Oh, blimey, that was... That was faster than I was expecting. Right, also... Okay, you're truly terrifying. Oh, hello there, Hop. Right, do you want to fight before we actually go inside? Because if so, I am flipping ready. The opening ceremony. Everyone will be watching the opening ceremony for the gym challenge. My mum, your mum, the whole world. It's getting me a bit nervous, actually. Come on, John. It's time the world learned our names. Are we actually going to go inside right now? I'd like to, like, you know, speak to the terrifying man outside first. Because there's a terrifying man with a Pokeball for a face. Hello, who are you? You took the time to talk to a Pokeball, so you deserve a little reward. Is it a Pokeball by any chance? It was indeed a Pokeball. Right. And I can't just escape and go where I want to go, because for the time being, uh, yeah, this Corviknight is tired. Uh, so if I try and get past it, it's just going to scream at me. Right. So I'm being blocked off in that direction by a Corviknight. And in this direction, there's just a couple of people talking about how excited they are, but it's enough to turn me around. Right, at some point Pokemon just got straight up lazy with coming up with legitimate excuses why a street might be blocked. And this is cute. I'm guessing four banners either side of the door. This here is going to be the eight gyms. So, ice gym, ghost or maybe dark, water, fire. Then over on the other side I saw, yeah, there was grass... Also dark, fairy, and maybe psychic, maybe electricity. Okay, a bit of a sneak peek of things to come then, gotcha. Okay, let's go inside and do this, because I've been putting off bothering to go to this ceremony for some flipping time. Oh, and there's someone else here already, and you're dressed very distinctively. And I must say, in some very nice hot pink. Right. We're going to be walking into that person again down the line. That might be the more dickish rival. And here we go. Turn over the letters from Leon. This is the first time we've had challengers endorsed by the champion himself. So, okay. We are now ones to watch. Absolutely marvellous. I would want to come over Leon this year. I know. I mean, me, it makes sense. But hot, no bloody clone. There. You two have been successfully registered as gym challengers. So, uh, we are now flipping ready. Now... Is this the gym, or is this just an opening ceremony, then we need to go to another gym? You can also choose your preferred number for your uniform, if you'd be so kind. It'll be displayed on the back of the uniform you wear for any official match. Okay then, and... Right, so what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna be the first human being who's ever lived to not have 69 on the back of the jacket. Instead, I think we'll go for 101, so I look like I'm the lone wanderer of Pokemon. And next we need to go and find the inn, and not far from the stadium. Head towards Route 3, it's along the way, and I know where that is. It's the left, not the right, I saw on the map to the right, is Route 4. So I'm guessing the Corviknight's going to still be blocking that off. Aha! And the person who just actually battered Hop on the way past with a bit of a shoulder barge. Hello, who are you? Whoever you are, you were endorsed by the chairman himself. In other words, among those elite enough to get an endorsement, I'm the most elite of all. So why don't you clear off and try not talking to me again, would you? Okay, so, you're going to be a big important person we beat in a major tournament down the line, got it. So, back over to the left, I assume the women who were there have now disappeared, and aha, this will be the Holiday Inn right here. Most of the companies here in Galar are owned by Chairman Rose, so that's who Rose was at the beginning. And for some reason, he endorsed one kid who's a bit of an asshole. So, uh, we'll see about that. Possibly his son or something. Okay, so I'm completely ignoring the hotel instead, just going for a bit of an explore. Got myself a new TM, Payday, which if I recall correctly is uh, not that powerful really. But, this guy's interesting. I sense great potential, but it's still early. Come back when you become champion. And also, there is, yeah... Little thing of bloobs right there. So there we go. Is it going to be a magic cup? Yes, it's just going to be a magic cup. So maybe, maybe we just um leave that be. Right. So away from this little backstage area down by the docks. Let's get back up to the street. And yeah, we got ourselves loads of big, beautiful spinning things dotted about here. And hang on, was that just 
another Pokemon Center at the top of the town. So, uh, yes, I believe it is. Marvellous. There's just two in this city. Together with a silk scarf just sitting right here in front of Pokemon Center 2, boosting normal type moves. Not bad. Not bad at all. I believe I saw. Yep, there is a sparkle right there. Love it. Okay, very importantly, we've also got, yeah, the three guys who are blocking my way from getting to this bit to the left of the start of the city are now gone, which opens up, yeah, a chance to get to uh, this rather interesting shop right over here. Because this is apparently the uniform shop, but unfortunately, yeah, uniforms are a bit on the, uh, the expensive side. So I guess we'll just have to go into battle a bit, you know, casual. Okay, so leave that be. Straight over to lift number two. That gets me back up to the top. I think I've now seen everything down below. So this gets me over to end of the road where the Pokemon Center is. Then we've got ourselves, I assume, the train station is now open and working and whatnot. So if I wanted to, could I travel directly back to wherever it is? Yeah, which station do you want to go to? Wedgehurst or Wild Area? Okay, so I can now fast travel using trains. Got it. Also, that reminds me, I am just flipping swimming in valuables to sell. I swapped some watts for some big pearls. I found myself one big nugget for 20,000. Okay, sorry, apparently I'm massively rich. Do whoever keep hold of, yeah, the mushrooms and the honey. Because uh, honey has a lush aroma sold for a low price. So I'm guessing that's got a different purpose. And the mushrooms, as we saw previously, popular with certain people. So, uh... Though I could sell it for a bit of money, someone presumably somewhere is gonna pay more. Also, vending machines. Okay, back in my day, and I really mean in my day, I mean generation one, lemonade was like the best thing you could buy. Because it was very, very cheap indeed, and it was also really, really powerful. So hang on, let's see if that's still the case, because... Uh, 350G is not that much at all. Yep, 70 hit points compared to a super potion, which is only 60. Lemonade is really good. Still, now I've remembered I was literally carrying around a giant pile of gold. Hello, it turns out I'm rich, actually. So, okay. Where's the fire uniform? Because, uh, okay, hang on. The, they've got to have a fire uniform, right? I mean, okay. Apparently they don't, despite the fact I've got two fire types in my team. That's a little bit disappointing. Okay, in which case we're going for the psychic uniform because that's pretty flipping snazzy. Okay, nothing new in the Pokemon Center, so am I allowed to just wander out of town or is there going to be... Uh, there's going to be something in the way. Can I sneak past? Nope. Unfortunately not. So we need to go and have a chat to somebody else first. Let's just check into the hotel attend the ceremony, then I'm guessing we'll be on our way up Route 3 to the first gym leader proper. And I've got a brand new team needing a run out, so yeah, this should work out pretty well. And here we go. Nice hotel, massive statue, and oh, is this mythology, background, story, something, something, something. And ah, yes, of course, sword and shield. The names of the game, John. There was going to be a sword and a shield in there somewhere. And Sonya's doing research into, yeah, that Pokemon we saw. The shield Pokemon, though I'm guessing it would have been the sword Pokemon had I been playing sword. So I reckon if I look in some of Galar's legends, I might be able to figure something out. So uh, you're here already anyway. And let's see what we got here. Big statue, Dragonborn, has to deal with the dragons before the end times, diddly diddly day. Statue of the hero who once saved the Galar region. Right, so I'm guessing we're actually dealing with like, you know, a Legend of King Arthur or something, given we've got a warrior with a big prominent sword and whatnot. So, uh, you could run through the legend right quick if you fancy. Oh, go on then. Give me all the details, actually. A great black storm covered the Galar region. People called it the Darkest Day. The land was assaulted by gigantic Pokemon, but they were defeated by a single young hero, bearing a sword and a shield. The hero here is meant to depict the young hero of that legend. We still don't understand what kind of sword and shield the hero actually had, and what this black storm is supposed to be is just another mystery. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here, but didn't like the fifth or sixth generation introduce a Pokemon that was literally a sword, and a Pokemon that was literally a shield? So, logically, wasn't he using those? in a Pokemon battle. I mean, that strikes me as the logical assumption, but what have you. Whatever it was, it blotted out the skies all across Galar. I suppose that tracks with it being called the Darkest Day, but still. Okay, I suppose that hero must have been about as strong as Lee then. Looks like you're going to have your hands full with plenty of research. 
Okay, obviously, we'll be revisiting this legend as time goes by. And okay, I've played enough Pokemon games to recognise Team Rocket or the new rip-off Team Rocket when they arrive. Hello, new Team Rocket. What's your deal and what do you flipping want today? We came all the way out to this big city so we could properly cheer on gym challenges. Team Yell is here to help after all. You're in for a battle if you want to stop us. And uh, sorry to bother you. Any chance I could get... Aha. I have no choice but to actually battle them, because they're blocking up reception. Okay, so as you're not queuing correctly, I have no choice but to kick your flipping asses. So here we go. Do we need to take on all four of them in a row? that would be a fun challenge. So let's see what we got here. And are we actually fighting inside the lobby? And who are you cheering on, by the way? Because, yeah, they seem to be, like, cheering somebody on. And they've got double Vuvuzelas. That's marvellous. Team Yell's all about helping, helping one very special trainer win the gym challenge, that is. Ah, by any chance, because you've got the purple, are you actually cheering on that guy with the purple jacket? Though, as a fun coincidence, because I am also wearing hot pink, it kind of looks like you're here to cheer on me. We want to make sure she gets cheered on nice and proper. Now you're going to help us make some noise. Okay, I'm very happy to kick your ass because you're using a Vuvuzela. And it's literally the most annoying instrument ever invented. So, in comes... Aha! It's a Zigzagoon, but it's a Galar Zigzagoon. And, uh, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This thing's a normal type, isn't it? And I don't know any fighting type moves yet. Okay, that's a bit unfortunate, but what have you. So, stores power, then attacks. If the user moves after the attack, attack's power will be doubled. Alternatively, Brutal Swing, which is, yeah, that's 60. Tackle is uh, 40, but same type of attack bonus. So, uh, may as well just basically go for a tackle, to be honest. This thing's got good attack, so we should be able to do some good work here. And, okay, so, I am pretty well leveled under the circumstances. If anything, I might be slightly over-prepared. Growlithe is leveling up too. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, yeah, level 14 in Growlithe with 27, 27 on attack and special attack. I'll take that. That'll do. Now, you've had your ass handed to you. Bring on the next, please. Give me a break here. Team Yell, get revenge, would ya? And, oh, are we looking at maybe a double battle? Come on, let's have a double battle. I kind of like them, actually. <laughs> How they're just ludicrously cheering things on in the background and causing trouble. Basically, yeah, this is just football hooligan Team Rocket. That's very British indeed. And here we go. Team Yell grunts holding a scarf with uh, what admittedly does not look particularly like that person we saw and okay you're a dark type you're definitely a dark type and we know about you you're a nicket you've got very weak defense so uh, a basic standard attack should do just fine you go in for the special but that does nothing absolutely nothing you've just had your ass handed to you by a small stuffed teddy bear i hope you feel very very embarrassed by this Right, number two goes down and hops curious what's going on. Are we looking at a double battle by any chance? And need to get some training in, so I'm joining. Here, I'll even heal up your Pokemon too. Honestly, I was doing fine, but whatever. And here we go. Come on. 2v2. Yes, 2v2. Double battles. Nice. Bring it the flip on, though, to be honest. Um, hop. If this is a double battle, how about you just step back and I send out two of my Pokemon? Because they are better than yours. And we've got ourselves, it's just another Zigzagoon and another Nickit. They don't have anything else. So, uh, here we go. It is time for Stuffle and you're sending out a Wooloo, are you? Okay, what level is your Wooloo? Your Wooloo is uh, level 10. Not spectacular really though. Hang on, no, 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 no. Brutal Swing, which is uh, not very effective. Okay, it's not very effective against Nickit. It should be perfectly effective against Zigzagoon, right? So, uh, oh, it's also going to hit Wooloo. Oh, that's even better. Screw your stupid Wooloo. So, uh, you're coming in for an attack. That does flip all. And brutal swing. And, uh, okay, I've done way more damage to Wooloo than to the other two guys. Marvellous. So, uh, yeah, you just basically defense curl. Because otherwise I'm going to sooner or later kill you with my violent swing attack. So, uh, in comes Snarl. Okay, not very effective on Stuffle, but is lowering stats. Got it. 
Okay, just go for a basic tackle. That's probably working better. That Nicket will go down no trouble whatsoever. So that's going in for, yeah, just the basic quick attack. But it's already weakened. So just get in there, destroy it. Then it's just Zigzagoon. So, um, Hop, if you'd like to say, I don't know, uh, get involved at all by maybe attacking the Zigzagoon with tackle. There you go. Well done. Not great, but in comes another Snarl right there. I'm guessing that's like a dark type attack or something because uh, is dark not very effective against fighting i can't for the life of me remember it can't be ghost it would have zero effect on normal so uh, i'm guessing it's dark and dark doesn't work on fighting and i've just forgotten that right just do one adorable flail at zigzagoon i love that animation that's adorable and uh, down they go nice and easy and stuffle should also yep go up to level 16 Plus three to attack. 31 already. Loving it. And Stuffer wants to learn the move Endure. Okay. Honestly, I'm not desperately convinced Endure's that good. That just means you're guaranteed to survive the next hit. So, uh, yeah. Is there really any point in me uh, having that? Like, I'd probably rather have Leah, to be honest. I just don't think Endure's that useful. I mean, in competitive play, absolutely. It's got a role. In single player... Not convinced. And hello over there. We may have defeated them, but that looks like the person who was on the scarf. I'm guessing they're cheering on her. So what are you lot doing here? And Marnie, together with a terrifying fake Pikachu. What's going on here? Nothing. We was just... I know you're terribly curious about the other gym challengers, but you gotta show a bit of restraints. Okay... So who are you? And are you going to be trouble? Sorry about them. They're just a bunch of my fans. Call themselves Team Yell. And follow me around cheering for me. I think they've let it all go a bit to their heads though. And yeah. Are you going to be trouble at all? Come on you lot. Back home with you now. And uh, they naff the flip off. Okay. They're just so caught up with wanting to support me and all. They tend to get a bit shirty with other gym challengers. Sorry if they caused you any trouble. And I think she's supposed to have, like, I mean, I was about to say maybe Essex, but she might even be supposed to be Cockney. Oh, that's marvellous. We've got a hint of regional accents going on here. So, Marnie, what can we actually learn about you? Uh, yeah, she's just repeating what she already said. So, uh, okay, she's claiming she doesn't want them to cause trouble, but we'll see whether she means it or not. And, yep, we just check in, go to sleep, and presumably today is going to be the day of the gym challenge opening ceremony diddly diddly day and there's hop the next morning in fact oh he's practicing his pokeball throw so are we actually fighting during the opening ceremony because i don't think we are i think it's just like exhibition matches presumably to introduce the gym leaders and here we go as we're actually taking part it's time for us to put on our clothing but um okay i did just drop 18 grand on special psychic gear Am I allowed to actually wear that? The 101 there? That really is the number for you. So ready for the opening ceremony. Um, could I change into my psychic gear? Like, it's really funky. Like, so damn funky. But no. No, we're just jumping straight in to, yeah, a big stadium thing. Now, this I like because Britain does have very large football stadiums. So it kind of makes sense that, yeah, the British Pokemon League would be all about massive stadiums like football stadiums. Anyway, here's Rose again, chairman of the Pokemon League. I know that everyone gathered here and everyone watching from home have all been waiting for this big moment. Oh, and there's Pokemon in the crowd too. It's my pleasure to announce that finally, the Galar Region Gym Challenge has begun! Yes, the Gym Challenge! Participants must defeat the eight gym leaders. They're about to appear on the board behind him and gather the eight gym badges to prove their skills as a trainer. Only the most worthy will have the honour of challenging the greatest champion in history. Now I would like to invite the gym leaders to show themselves. And go on then. Let's see who we're going to be taking on first. Oh, here they come with some slow motion walking. And okay, it's a very varied bunch. The Fighting Farmer, the Grass-type Expert, Milo! The Raging Wave, the Master of Water-types, Nessa! The Ever-Burning Man of Fire, here comes the Fire-type Veteran, 
Kaboo! Okay, so he's the local. I'm guessing he's third. This is in order, right? The silent boy of mystery. Alistair, friend to the ghost types. The master of a fantastic theater. The charming fairy type user. Opal, the ice cold professional. Please welcome the ice type master, Melanie. And last but not least, the tamer of dragons. It's Raihan, the top gym leader. Unfortunately, we're missing one. Yes, I thought we were only up seven there. These are the gym leaders that we in the Galar region are proud to call our own. I wonder who's missing in that case. Someone's going to be missing. Maybe the first one's missing. I need to go and find them or something. I have no clue. Otherwise, it's probably the... Oh! Hello there. No, that's me. That's me, isn't it? Am I supposed to be walking out alone? I feel like I shouldn't be walking out alone. I feel like I should be walking out with... Good! It's a bunch of other people. What are we actually going to do, by the way? Are we fighting right now? I don't know why we're here. Are we just here to, like, shake hands and wave at each other? I've no clue why we're actually here. No one's explained what the ceremony is for. It wasn't for anything. Or I just imagined that. No, it did happen. That wasn't a dream sequence. We were just sort of there to wave and then go away. Maybe there was an exhibition match, but we didn't get to see it. And here comes Rose. Now, I don't trust Rose because he's put forward one person and the one person was a dick. So I'm not convinced by this Chairman Rose business. Aha, Rose also runs a company and his wonderful company invented the Dynamax band. So he's got fingers in a whole bunch of pies. Yeah, I get the feeling he's secretly behind some form of evil organization. I don't trust him one bit. Right, he naffs off. Nothing major from him whatsoever. Leon, any major words of advice? Because I suspect it's time for a gym battle. If you want to win, you need to do more than just train your Pokemon. You need to train yourselves too. Okay, fair enough. And Oh, let's do it, John. Are we rival battling? Or do you just mean let's do it in the vague encouraging sense? You know the gym challenge has a set order you've got to visit the gyms in. Aha, the first is Turfield. To get there, we need to head to Route 3. Okay, know where that is. Let's go do that. Here we go. So, Kaboo does live here, fire type, but... I need to earn the Grass Badge in Turfield and the Water Badge in Hullbury first. Also, when you say Hullbury, is Hull in this game? Is this Pokemon Hull? Oh my goodness, are we going from Stoke-on-Trent to Hull? Oh, this is... this is... oh no. Oh no, no, no. Okay, I see the map there. Route 3, some form of cave dungeon or another. Then a tiny bit more route into the town. But first, we've got a gift from the chairman. A gift, such a wonderful thing. From the chairman, such a wonderful man. And the gift is access to uh, the flying taxis. They allow you to, in a word, uh, fly. Calling a flying taxi would allow you to travel quickly back to the areas you've already visited. Aha! So they finally got rid of hidden machines at some point. So you don't have to have, you know, five Pokemon with you and then one hidden machine slave. Oh, this is cute. When you actually leave, everyone shows up to wave you off. Oh, that's lovely. Ooh, but before we go, apparently Hop wants one last battle. Oh, Hop. I know you're still dealing with level 10 Pokemon. You are going to be flipping destroyed, mate, all right? All right, here he comes. What have you got for me, Hop friend? Is it going to be... Yep, it's the Wulu. Is it still level 10? Have we done some training overnight? Here comes Stuffle. And uh, keep it up, mate. This is our chance to see if we're up to the gym challenge. I am. I definitely am. Okay, it's up one level on last night. So uh, there has been a bit of last minute training here. And uh, oh dear, that Wooloo is uh, not, not doing great. No, no, it is not. Okay, I was expecting to win, but this is just a humiliation. All right, down you stupid sheep goes. Uh, what have you got planned for me next, Hop, my old friend? And a nice pile of XP right there. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, a Rookie D. That is a pure flying type. So, uh, switch Pokemon to... Uh, who wants to come out next at this point? Tell you what, Krabby can have a go. Krabby will do just fine right there. Though, actually, no. I probably shouldn't have done that. Because uh, Krabby has got weak special defense. And Rookie D's probably got Gust. So, should have gone for something a bit more special defensive. But, definitely a good idea to get Stuffle out the way. Because as a fighting type, yeah, Stuffle would have potentially run into a bit of trouble there. So, uh, let's go in with the Metal Claw. And no, it's using Pack. Okay, you're just not very good, are you? Like, you could have used Gust. That would have been a special attack. Would have been more effective. But, whatever, your Rookie D is now dead. Have fun with that. 
So there we go. Raboot goes up to level 20. Who's currently kind of, you know, hanging out in the background. We'll bring out Raboot if we need the big guns. But I want to train up the others first and foremost. And uh, who else have you got? Oh, of course, it's Grookey. Now, that's actually a good pick against Krabby. So we will actually be withdrawing that. And uh, Growlithe. Okay, Growlithe, this is going to be your first big uh, proper battle here. Because, uh, oh yeah. I'm liking this team. This is a good team. I'm happy with this. And uh, backed into a corner. This will make my victory all the better. Yes, I'm sure your grass monkey is about to flipping defeat my flaming dog. I'm sure that's about to happen. Good luck with that. The question is, uh, are we going to do it with... Oh, are you about to Dynamax? Taste of our true power. And uh, he poked me with a stick. Did he actually just really poke me with a stick? He did. He poked me with a cooking stick. That was his ultimate attack. That was his way back into the battle. He was planning to poke me with a flipping stick. Right, okay. Just, you know, toss some embers at it. Just spit an ember in its face. Ooh, you're using items? Well, la di flippin' da. Then again, Ember might be better, because I'm pretty sure Grookey is, uh, yeah, high defense than special defense. So actually, Ember works just flippin' fine. Though that was a critical, so I can't be absolutely certain. Right, Grookey dies. There you go. More XP and money for me, if you'd be so kind. And uh, job flippin' done. Right, Hop, you are not ready for this. Okay, everyone's healed up at the Pokemon Center, and now I'm guessing... Uh, I'm allowed straight out onto Route 3 proper. Okay, if your precious Pokemon get injured, don't forget to use a potion. Fair enough. Yes, I know how items work. It's fine. Now, time to find myself some grass because we've got some new stuff here. And apparently, you really want my attention. Okay, I don't know what you are, but this one, this one's a Zigzagoon. So, okay, we'll catch one of these. Apparently, yeah, Zigzagoons are a bit more feral in Galar. Marvelous. Right, one tackle gets it down to almost nothing. This should be no problem whatsoever. So capture that. And yes, if we can verify whether in this area it's actually normal dark rather than pure normal. Because uh, would that be better or worse? No, that would make it really weak to fighting. Normal dark would be, yeah, 4x weak to fighting. So that would be uh, no good at all. And apparently this is the oldest form of Zigzagoon. But yeah, it's a bit more chaotic. Runs around wreaking havoc. Love it. So yes, Dark Normal. This one is faster, but has worse special defense, so nothing too special here. Yeah, Zigzagoons are fine, to be honest, but I won't be introducing one into the team. They're not really worth that. Okay, and what about you, my little friend? You look like some form of uh, grass type, and you are... Are you new? I don't know. I have a vague feeling you might have been in, like, the sixth generation, but I'm not sure. Okay, some form of whirling, singing flower Pokemon. Pure grass type. Bit tanky, very, very slow indeed. Both attack and special attack are nothing to write home about. Starts off with, yeah, leafage. I saw this one out in the wild, wasn't sure what it did. So, accuracy 100, power 40. Yeah, basically just Vine Whip under another name, gotcha. No Sing, so I can't put you to sleep, but yeah, Sing is like ridiculously inaccurate, so don't worry about that. Rapid Spin, Sweet Scent. Nothing of interest, really. And here we go, we're getting into choices now. So I could walk in front of this girl and have a battle, or if I wanted to, I could sneak round the back of her in order to avoid her. But no, trainers are money and generally give you plenty of XP, so we'll be beating you up too. Right, last ray, here we flip in go. Let's see if the trainers on this route or anything. Ooh, Vulpix! Okay, Lardy flipping da, we're getting into some fun stuff here. Level 12, so not spectacular, but not terrible either. Vulpix is, yeah, that's pure fire with a bit of a specialization in, I believe, special defense. Not so good on the old defense. So, uh, yeah, we should be able to take you out no problem whatsoever. So, you go down. You did do a bit of damage to me. That's all fine. Should be worth a good amount of XP right there. And let's see how much we get for that. Yeah, 110. Not terrible, not spectacular either. Okay, keep on keeping on and keep an eye out for, yeah, anything special going on inside the grass. And hello over there. I'll be helping myself to hop down, grab myself item, heal ball. So yeah, catch something with that. It gets healed up immediately. That's a what Pokemon over. I was trying to sneak past you, but whatever. I will destroy you if you insist. Though embarrassingly, yeah, the world Pokemon around here appear to be um, level 13. And the trainers have level 12 Pokemon. So 
I'm not sure how they're not, you know, going to lower level areas to train up or anything. This feels like a dangerous place for that last to be hanging out, but what have you. Yeah, I'm getting more XP from fighting wild Pokemon than I am from fighting the trainers. I swear back in my day, trainers would give you, like, more XP, like, bonus XP, but maybe that's not such a thing anymore. And, uh, okay, Pokemon trainers can't just be snuck around by just kind of, you know, avoiding their line of sight. They totally turn to try and face ya. Okay, next up, time to beat up a small school child called Hannah. And Hannah sends out Pancham! That is... I don't actually know what your typing is. Are you dark? You vaguely look dark, like an evil panda. So, okay, go for a basic tackle here. If it is dark, then... Oh, hang on, it might be fighting as well. Maybe it's fighting and uh, it knows circle throw. Oh, if that's fighting! Oh, Stuffle, I'm so sorry. Right, so Stuffle goes down. This thing might be a fighting type, so in which case... Natu, you... You don't know any psychic attacks, do you? Is stored power actually an attack? 20. Okay, how about we don't send out Natu? You know what, Krabby? I think you've got this one. Just basically smash it in the face with a giant claw. That's gotta work. And in comes the claw. It survives it, goes in for a basic tackle. That's gonna do flipping nothing. And one more should do the job. Come on, one more metal claw. And hits, 95% accurate. So there was a chance it could miss. And down it goes. Okay, that was a little bit tougher. And Krabby goes up to level 18. 46 attack. Not bad. No, 48 now. Even flipping better. Okay, quick heal. But I'd say it's time for Growlithe to go up front. Because Growlithe is currently underleveled. So let's get him up front and get him some bonus XP. But, I see something over there. And this is why I love Growlithe. They just desperately want to come over and meet you. They're wonderful. And we've also got ourselves. Uh, that's, hang on. That's that grass thing. Hello over there, little grass thing. Let's just quickly burn that to the ground. That's some easy XP. Oh yeah, this will be some nice easy XP right here. I don't flipping care, you're a bit tanky. Yeah, flame will and Wow, you took that! I am genuinely impressed, but rapid spin's not gonna do much, and I doubt you're gonna outspeed me regardless. So going for one ember, finished off, job done. Okay, there we go. Nice, easy. If we happen to see one of those Gossiflers just kind of floating around, uh, just kill it for the XP. And straight up to level 15 too. Marvellous. So special attack goes up to uh, 27. Decent if unspectacular, but the moveset is nice. That's a good set of moves. Oh, that's better. Level 14 one goes down in a single hit. Okay, Growlithe, now you do in the flipping business. And uh, stuff was going to hit level 17. In fact, everybody levels up. Marvellous. Roselia, level 19, up to uh, 48 special attack. That'll do. Uh, Stuffle goes up to uh, 35 on the attack. That's decent. Natu's level 16. Uh, hopefully, we'll learn confusion some point or another. That'd be great. In fact, actually, did I ever take Natu to the move rememberer? I can't remember if I... Okay, well, as you've literally spawned behind me, yes, I will be burning you to cinders. Sure, why not? I mean, the thing is, I need my fire types to get some XP. I think we're going into a grass gym first by the sounds of it. So, uh, Growlithe and Reboot together should hopefully be able to handle that without too much difficulty. Right, schoolboy Marvin is sending out... Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. But I'm about to burn your grass type to the ground. But here's a surprise, it's a trainer with more than one Pokemon. So okay, we're going to have something waiting for us after this point. And out comes, oh it's another grass type. Oh you've made so many mistakes here, so many mistakes. Oh and hello, I was just heading up the road and we've run into Sonya. Okay, so what is actually going on over here? Why are you looking at, yeah, some form of factory behind a rope? I'm guessing I can't get up there just yet, but... We'll need to sooner or later. Yes, where indeed is Hop? And uh, he just went on ahead. In fact, I'm surprised he didn't pass you. He was heading in this direction, so... Uh, all right, fair enough. Now, what are you looking at? You see that building over there? It's a company owned by Chairman Rose. Oh, I don't trust him. Not one flipping bit. Just past Route 3, there's a mine where they dig up ore. That building over there processes it into energy. Okay, in other words, the chairman is responsible for providing the Galar region with its energy too. Yeah, he's a man with a bit too much power. Can't say I really get him, but the chairman seems like a pretty brilliant guy, right? 
Yeah, Sonya doesn't 100% understand him either. I'm still suspicious here. And she's going to give me an escape rope too. Right, we should probably go and check out that building. Make sure he's not like, you know, converting Pokemon into biofuel or something. Okay, so she gives me a free heal up en route. And uh, can we actually get past this? No. No, we cannot. But I'm guessing, some point or another, that rope will be taken down when it's time to go and investigate whatever's going on. Hello, I saw a sparkle. There's a revive. Very, very useful indeed. Right, so we've got ourselves... Wait, what? What's that? What? The little turtle things or something. Hello! What's one of you and... What the... Is... Is that sentient coal on a wheel like a coal unicycle or... Okay, so that's... That's a thing. Now, I'm going to guess it's got high defense, but... Bite is actually really useful if you're faster than your opponent because Bite has a chance of flinching. So, okay. It's, yeah, it's basically unicycling coal. It's sentient coal. No one tell Pokemon Thatcher. There's no telling what she'd do. Right, so Roly Coley, that's a good name. Let's see what we got here. Right, so it both is coal and also burning coal sustains it. And also it is indeed a unicycle. Okay, so that, that's a thing. I mean, I'm not going to deny, I kind of love it. It's kind of amazing because it's unicycle coal. This particular one is uh, tackle, smokescreen, rapid spin and uh, smackdown. So 50 power, 100% accuracy and a flying Pokemon will fall to the ground when hit. Okay, so it loses its flying type. So, oh, hang on. If you do that to a Rookie D, which is a pure flying type, then what happens to the Rookie D? Because then it's got no typing, like, whatsoever. I mean, that feels wrong. Pokemon with no typing, that shouldn't exist. Other than that, pretty basic stuff for a rock type, precisely what I'd expect from a Geodude or whatever, so yeah. High on the defense, pretty good on the attack. Surprisingly good on the speed, to be honest. Like, I know it's its lowest stat, but it's not as low as I would have expected. Then again, as we've established, it is a unicycle. And actually, heat proof. That's a good ability. I tell you what, I'd like one with an actual, you know, nature of some description, because Hardy's just a neutral, but... I could be tempted. I could be tempted by this, because uh, that's a really solid physical wall right there. And you know what, I'm happy with the neutral nature, because the only stat I'd want to go down would be special attack, presumably. So I'm not just going to keep catching them to actually get one with a good special attack. You know what? You can stay. You can stay because you're kind of cool. And Natu can go away because Natu has not been impressing me. Now, we've also got a choice of directions here. Hang on, I thought I was supposed to be going... Uh, I'm sure I'm supposed to be going up. So, okay. Down first it is. Just have to beat the hell out of a school child first. Schoolgirl Kaylee sends out Purloin. That is, I'm pretty sure, Dark type. So, oh, it's also Dog versus Cat. Right. The Battle of the Flipping Ages. So Fire will do uh, just fine. I am faster. And you are about to be, yeah. Defensively, you're not much of a thing, are you? No. No, you are not. So goodbye, you stupid loser. And she's also got one of those squirrel things. So uh, yeah, keep Growlithe out. Growlithe does need the XP. We're getting ready for the grass gym here. So uh, Definitely a good idea to just get Growlithe all the XP he can get. So, screw you, Squovert. Down you go. And, oh, blimey, that was... That was not bad. Managing to actually take one of them with only half health loss. That's not bad at all. Maybe that thing's got a nature for higher special defense. No, higher normal defense, because this is actually a physical attack. So, okay. Just keep on keeping on. And just enough to take it down. And as a result of that, we didn't actually take a hit during the battle. So, that's good. Okay, so now we're looping round in this direction, and, uh, aha, we've got ourselves a TM37 beat up. So that is, yes, I know what that is, that's a dark type attack, so more Pokemon in the party, more damage. And may as well just help myself to some berries while I'm standing right here. Also, hello over there. Right, okay, something, something just fell out of the tree. Hello, you're a Cherubee, you're from Generation... Four or possibly three? I think four. 
Anyway, you can just actually be on fire now. So, okay, Pokemon sometimes fall out of trees. Did you evolve into... Yes, I remember you. You evolve into, like, a closed flower, but during sunlight, the flower opens, and it becomes an absolute flipping powerhouse. Now, that's... That might be interesting, because... I do also have, yeah, Growlithe, who would also benefit from Sunny Day. But I'm not ready to actually, you know, commit to a weather condition that I'm building a team around just yet. And Growlithe wants to learn. Helping Hand. Remind me, game, what does Helping Hand do? Assist an ally by boosting the power of that ally's attack. No, nope. No, I think we're good, thanks. Ah, but if you get attacked because you get greedy, then some of the berries get stolen. Gotcha. Now, hang on. Am I allowed to drop down to... Where's this? This is presumably... I don't know, but there's a big sign there. Right, okay, so that's definitely looping back to where I just was a second ago. So, uh, now, just straight through here. And there's a postman as well. Hello. Do you want to fight? Yes, I could have snuck behind you, but no, we have to take on the postman. Screw you, Royal Mail. Time to take out Postman Tad. Okay, he should have been called Postman Pad. That's just quite frankly disappointing. Oh, that's cute. There's actual Pokeballs that demonstrated what Pokeball he used to catch his Pokemon. So that was a Great Ball right there because of the flash of blue. So he used a Great Ball to capture this Deli Bird, which is a weird Ice Santa Claus bird Pokemon. And now I'm about to burn it to death. So it's not surviving that. No. No, it is not. Goodbye, you stupid loser. Now that was actually, yes, yeah, single evolution Pokemon. So that should be, uh, yeah, a good amount of XP. Lovely. And we've also got ourselves a, a camp here. Hello. So, if you want to hit up your Pokemon, there's nothing like setting up a camp and cooking up a good meal. Here, you can add this berry to the pot. So, uh, free berry. Right there. Any chance I can just, like, yeah, nip into your tent for two minutes just to heal up? And uh, would you like to visit Becca's Pokemon camp? Sure. I have no idea what that means, but here we go. And, aha. So, now, uh, my Pokemon are going to play with hers, except I think it's actually... Uh, yeah, it's three and three. I assume it's whichever Pokemon are at the top of my list, because there's Stuffle, and there's Growlithe, and... Hang on, who else did I bring? None of the rest of these are mine, right? Because Yampa's not here anymore, Oddish isn't here, Wooloo's not here. No, I'm just letting out two Pokemon, but no others, apparently. Well, we're in good enough shape for the time being, so we'll just pass straight on by you. More to come, and then, aha! There's a mine up ahead. Got it, we need to pass through the mine. After we beat up another school child. And it's Sizzlepeed! Aha! We ran into a mega version of you some time ago. That is, uh, yeah, Bug Fire. So as a result of that, yeah, fire would actually be neutral. Because it is effective against Bug, not effective against other fires. Uh-oh. Okay, so as it turns out, that thing's actually got um, Flash Fire. Which I also have. Because ideally I would have preferred Intimidate, but they're both decent abilities under the right circumstances. Instead, I'll just use Bite. Because if I use Bite, I'm faster than him, so uh, there's a decent chance I might get a flinch. In fact, no, we just killed him in one more hit. Absolutely A-OK. -okay. So Gralif's getting a bit on the weaker side. If we're lucky, there might be... Sorry, he's got something else to send. And what's a Dotler? I don't know what a Dotler is, but that first thing was a bug type, so... Uh, that looks like a bug type to me. Okay, so hit that with a fire attack, please, and that should hopefully work. What's one of you then? Ah, hang on. We passed, yeah, there was a weird bug type we saw earlier. I'm guessing, what was it called? I can't remember. The little bug with the bow tie. I'm guessing you're the evolved form. Still, one ember. We'll finish you off. No trouble. Down you go, and uh, it's also sort of uh, shimmering. Maybe it picks up a psychic type, I'm not sure. And hello, we've got the rubbish bag Pokemon floating around, though I'm pretty happy just not catching it. I was never keen on the rubbish bag Pokemon, so we'll leave that be. Right, the mine lies ahead. Gotcha. Would you actually be kind enough to heal up my Pokemon, please? And here we go, pop up Pokemon Center. That's all absolutely fine, just at the Pokemon Center just outside Mount Moon back in the day. So... I'm now healed up. Absolutely lovely. If I run into trouble, we're good. Now, it's going to be, yeah, a cave system. That probably means there's going to be a few rock and ground types floating around, though it might be Zubats. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Stuffle out first. Because Stuffle hits very hard against just about anything. So, well, 
Stuff we can't really deal with rock types. Let's just see what's inside the mine. This is the first ever dungeon. It's not going to be that big. And, uh, okay. We've also got ourselves... Ooh, hello. Hello there. Hi, little friend. I remember you from the fourth generation. Or was it the fifth? I think it was the fourth. Yes! I think we might have one of you because uh, you evolve into... Uh, what is it? Your, yeah, your rog and roller. I think you become, like, Gigalith eventually. And I remember thinking you were pretty cool back in the day. So, uh, give it a brutal swing. We'll see how I feel about this. Okay, got lucky with one hit there. There was a critical. So, at level 12, that much health. You're probably good to be captured. I like the mine in the background, by the way. All the sparkly lights. That's very festive as we enter the Christmas period. Lovely. Right. What have we got here? 96. Not terrible. Not bad either. Okay, now the question is, because we're in a dungeon, are we playing by standard old Pokemon rules that I can just be attacked at random no matter where I am? Because you can just be attacked in caves. And yeah, let's check out this thing. Oh, hello. Defense up to special attack down. Okay, well, that might just be meant to be. And you know, Stealth Rock. Stealth Rock's actually a very good thing to just get out at the beginning of the match. Because yeah, that basically means uh, any Pokemon entering the field on the opponent's side takes a bit of damage. I tell you what, you, you can come along because uh, the fact you're impish, this just feels like it was meant to be. I'm sorry, Roly Coley, but I just feel like given this thing has got the perfect nature, the universe is trying to tell me it's the right physical wall for me. Now there's also this thing and oh, there's Swoobats. Okay, it's like a Zubat, but also like, you know, not. Okay, I'll tell you what, just remember what Pokemon are here, and what Pokemon aren't here. And I'm not creeping, which would suggest that I'm not going to be attacked. So there's a mine here, and hello, I'll be helping myself to stuff. And you do want to fight. Okay, what are you going to have on you? I don't know, but we'll just, yeah, stick with Stuffle. Stuffle will be fine. I'm guessing he's guarding something over there. So my partner and I are in perfect sync. We'll see about that. And Keith sends out. Okay, this is the one thing that Stuffle really can't deal with very effectively. You really need to learn yourself, yeah, a fighting type attack. That'd be very useful. Okay, so uh, who needs to be out? Roselia. Roselia will be able to take care of this no problem whatsoever. And if Roselia takes damage, she can just mega drain it off. So that's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. In comes a basic tackle. That's going to do, yeah, not much. Not much at all. Activate Magical Leaf. And we're outspeeding that little thing. That's got to be a one-hit kill. Then again, this thing is pure rock, not rock ground. So maybe it's not as weak as I'm expecting. And... There's some XP. Very, very nice indeed. Reboot goes up to level 21. Still good as like, you know, just an adult in the background, just in case we need help. And uh, there we go. He goes down. Job done. All right. What were you guarding, my friend? You've got to be guarding something up here. Oh, blimey. There's... Okay, there's... There's a lot up here. Like, way more than I was expecting. And also, okay, this place is... This place is pretty big. I will help myself too. Pokeball, three great balls. I think I actually picked up some of them in the city as well. Okay, where is this going? And okay, this is just another way, but aha, is that a yes? TM, good. So yellow balls always mean TMs. Good, good, good. Rock Blast, not a great move, but not a terrible one either. Oh, I like this place. This place is really flipping pretty. Okay, so uh, crack on and yeah, bypass all of these guys because I'm guessing if we just actually follow the track, we'll make our way through. But no, 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 no. I think, oh, okay. Spinners are back or rather rotators on this occasion. So uh, we might just be able to bypass you. Scary face, that is, uh, yeah, that lowers, what is it? Speed by two stages? Yeah, speed down by two stages. Nothing too dramatic there. And we will gladly fight you, by the way. I do want to relieve you of your money. And Timber has been sent out. Okay, that's fighting type. So, uh, okay, Stuffle, time for you to uh, come back, actually. And uh, Roselia, Poison, I believe, resists fighting. And you're probably about to throw a fighting type move out because you think you're attacking a normal type. Yeah, there we go. Low kick. That'll do nothing to Roselia because Roselia is, oh, even better. You're flipping poisons, you stupid loser. Okay, let's see how much just a basic Mega Drain can do. So I'm actually faster than you, which is good. Oh my, that's, that's quite a lot actually, as it turns out. Good, 
Good, good, good. What else have you got? Just a basic pound. How much is that going to do? A little bit, but not too much. And then the poison has basically already almost finished you off. Okay, so screw it. Just toss a magical leaf. I could have done a swift as well. Either is just fine. They're both guaranteed hit. Yeah, Roselia's actually got two moves that can't miss by an odd coincidence. So that's nice. And level 20. Up to 51. Very good. And our oh, toxic spikes. Okay, now we've got Stealth Rock. And we've got Toxic Spikes in the team. Now that, that I'm liking. Okay. The thing is, ooh. We're getting into difficult choices here. So, uh, Mega Drain is a good way of getting some health back. Magical Leaf is a solid attack. Leech Seed is just very, very good against a single tough opponent. You know what? I'm going to get rid of Swift. If I change my mind, we can put Swift back on Roselia down the line. That's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. But Leech Seed is really good. Maybe both Mega Drain and Leech Seed is slightly overdoing it. Maybe that's the thing I need to get over. Okay, moving on here. and We've got ourselves... Hello, we got some wild Pokemon. Just some Rock and Rollers. And hello, I saw a Sparkle there. That's a Sparkle I can pick up. A Hard Stone. Also... Boost rock type moves. Okay, that reminds me. There are a whole bunch of items I'm not handing over to my Pokemon that I should be handing over to my Pokemon. So, uh, Growlithe, I would like to give you the Charcoal. Meanwhile, Stuffle, you should obviously have the Silk Scarf. And Rog and Roller, you can help yourself to that Hardstone. Okay, moving on. I'm feeling like Roselia is a good Pokemon to have up front here. So, uh, here we go. Let's see what you've got. You're going to have a Swoobat. The moment I put Roselia up front, you're going to have a Swoobat, aren't you? No, it's a Diglett! Everyone loves Diglett. Diglett's great. I love how they dig. Now, the revolt form is just three Diglett. Right, okay. So, uh, you're probably going to be... Actually, no. You would be faster than me, but you're also level 14. So, I'm faster than you. I'll be having all of my health back now. Oh, Mega Drain. Mega Drain's a damn good ability. But we've also got a Drillba coming out. That is... Hang on, is that... I think that's Ground Steel. So, if it is, then Growlithe, come and have a go and hang on. No, I think it evolves into Ground Steel. I think it might actually just be pure ground. So, it's probably better with just Roselia. Drillba is... Yeah, you're totally just ground. Okay, you're probably about to do some damage to me, but I should be able to finish you off in two hits. Especially now with that charcoal. And, uh, oh, you're using rapid spin. Okay, I'm not worried as it turns out. Though. Then again, I don't know how fast you are, but your speed's just gone at one level. And, okay, it is now faster than me, but still not that bad. We can still kill this thing right now. Okay, drillbers are pure ground, but I think it's... Excavate Mole? I can't remember. It evolves into something that's got steel in it. I'm sure of it. Well, you know, 90% sure. Okay, avoid the Swoo Bats. That's more Roly Coley's right there. And hello, I'll gladly kick your ass too. Also, did he just say I was looking for items? There's clearly an item immediately to his left. Oh, this just ain't a good matchup for you, friend. All right, your little unicycle coal thing is not gonna do well. So, down it flipping goes. And marvellous. Right, okay. He's not going to be any trouble whatsoever. Also, we've picked up a new item here. Heavy Duty Boots. So the effect of traps set on the battlefield, like Stealth Rock or Toxic Spikes, would have no effect. Okay, that's interesting. And hello, I see a sparkle. I'll be having a sparkle, thank you. Right, straight through with no problem. And I see daylight, but I also see the dick who actually shouldered Hop out of the way. Now... By any chance, would you like a battle? Because uh, if you would, uh, I'd be very, uh, very happy uh, to kick your ass. And uh, any trainer with a wishing star is in for a beating uh, from me and my Pokemon. Okay, uh, right. So my team is in uh, very good shape right now. Might just use, yeah, maybe one item on Growlithe just to get him up to strength right now. Don't know how strong this kid is, but he's talking a big game. All right, Stuffle. You go up front. You're generally a good starting point because you hit very hard with some good, solid basic attacks. So, basically, kid, screw the flip out of you. Now, who are you and why is Rose backing you? You. You're the gym challenger endorsed by the champion, aren't you? What a joke. 
You are aware the chairman is more important than the champion, right? I was chosen by the chairman himself, so that makes me more amazing than you. And go on, kid. Can I have a name? Nope. He's just going to kick my ass without giving me a name. Marvellous. So uh, let's make him eat some humble flipping pie. And uh, he's apparently named Bead. Or possibly BD. I'm just going to say Bead. Right. So uh, he's sending out Solosis. That is, uh, you're from the fifth generation, aren't you? You're a psychic type, I believe. In which case, I think... Brutal Swing should do some very good work against you. And, was I right? Super effective. Oh dear, I appear to have one-shotted your starter. So, uh, that's good. Just giving your Pokemon a little chance to shine. That's all. And some good XP coming in now. Okay, what have you got next then, you stupid loser? Gothita. I believe are also psychic, actually. So, uh, yep, you've just basically had one psychic be destroyed. So now you're going to send out another one to also be destroyed. Well done, you cocking genius. And, uh, yeah, super effective, but was able to survive. And is tickling my teddy bear. This is a weird fight. So my attack fell. You know what? I think I'm fine with that. Just go in for some payback. And in we go. Screw you, you stupid loser. Right, so you're dead now. Anyone else you'd like to throw into the meat grinder before we're done, you stupid loser? And Hatena. I don't know what that is, but given the state of Pokemon, it might well be a hat. Um, I mean, this guy's taken some damage to his attack, so... Yeah, come on back, and Growlithe, see if we can get some XP on you. Between Flame Wheel and Bite, you should be able to handle just about anything. So here we go, and let's get this over with. Oh, hang on. Are you about to Dynamax? That's probably not a good idea inside of mine, and what the cock is that thing? Okay, does Anticipation, then it Shudders. If it Shudders, that means it knows something bad's coming its way. Given what you've been sending out so far, I'm guessing it's Psychic. So, yeah, there we go. That's the super effective noise. If we're lucky, we'll get a flinch. Yep, flinched, couldn't move. So basically, I'm going to finish you off without you doing any damage to me. You got one attack in, and it was a tickle on a teddy bear. So basically, well done. The chairman's going to be very proud when he hears about this. I see. Well, that's fine. I wasn't really trying that hard anyway. Ah, that old chestnut. Marvellous. I like how upset he looks, though. I've definitely upset him. Well, that was unexpected. I suppose you're more able than I thought. Naturally, I'll remember your battle style and strategies now. I'm sure to easily defeat you if and when we face each other in an official match. Now that we've established that, I won't waste any more time on you. Goodbye, loser. Smell you later. And here we go. Straight outside and we should hopefully be... Pretty much on. Actually, no. We haven't actually got to town at all. We've got flipping Route 4 yet. But, any chance, are you willing to give me... Yes, you're the sister of the girl who I met at the beginning. So I'm guessing you're giving me a bit of a heal. Didn't really need it, but may as well top myself up here. Right, so, aha. Massive cornfield. And, uh, I see a big old stadium. Love it. Together with, yep, another tree right here. Any stuff in hello. We got ourselves... Uh, oh, that's... That's not a Pikachu. That's just a child dressed up as a Pikachu. And a ghost pumpkin, if I recall correctly. So, okay, fair enough. May as well kick all your asses too. Growlithe, get up front. Once again, we need you to get the XP if you'd be so kind. So, uh, let's just kick the ass of that pumpkin. Yeah, a punkaboo. I'm pretty sure that's a grass ghost. So, uh, not so interested in you, to be honest. But as I get the XP anyway, I may as well catch you while you happen to be in red health. So, uh, get in the Pokeball, please. Uh, we'll be having you for the Pokedex. Yeah, Ghost Grass with a bit of a focus on uh, attack and defense. Faster than I would have thought. Special defense, special attack is very, very poor indeed. Uh, starts off with uh, Confused Ray. Razor Leaf's not terrible. Yeah, you know what? We're not keeping you around, but you're better than I thought you were going to be. And next to the Punkaboo was Yas. A small child dressed as a Pikachu. Now, by any chance, do you have, uh, unsurprisingly, a Pikachu? Yes. So I will gladly murder Pikachu right now. It might well be, uh, not sure whether it's faster than me, but it does no quick attack, so uh, it's getting the first move regardless. Actually, 
Do Pikachus have, uh, what is it, uh, static, where they can paralyze you by making physical contact? Just in case they do, let's Ember, because I don't actually want to make contact with it, because I don't want to get paralyzed, so... Uh, there we go. Spit some stuff at you. Down you go, you stupid loser. Now, is this cornfield technically an actual, yeah, source of Pokemon? Hang on. Excuse me. Who are you? What's, what's that in the grass? I, I don't know what that is. I can't see. Hello. What's one of you? You're sort of in, what the cock is this? Oh, it's, it's an evil Meowth. Okay, this is Meowth after basically a week of nothing but whiskey. I don't understand and I don't want to. Please murder it. Please murder it right now. And hang on, that was the... No, it's not. Why is it super effective? Okay, what... What type is that thing? Hang on. Fire is super effective against... Bug. Grass. Uh, steel. It's, I don't know what type it is, but apparently it's picked up a type that's weak to fire. Could be ice, I guess. Okay, we've also got, oh, blimey. Okay, just got ambushed by another one of those guys, so I'll gladly murder you stupid bastards. Okay, plenty of Meowth variants, gotcha. And there's also, yeah, those pups floating around too, so that's nice and simple. So, okay, nothing too dramatic as far as I can tell. And hello over there. That's a Manectric, isn't it? Or no, an Elytrite they evolved into Manectric from Generation 3. I remember you guys. I had one of you on my first ever Gen 3 team, if I recall correctly. Now, you're not great, to be honest. You're fine, but you're not let's make space on the team because there's an Electrike, the most exciting and sexy of Pokemon. So, uh, we'll catch you because you get the XP anyway, even if you catch them. But, yeah, I'm not convinced we'll be making space for you. I mean, they're fine. Manectric's a pretty decent and he paralyzed me. What a dick. The strange thing about this field is uh, these Meowths that I'm very effective against just keep tossing themselves at me. They just charge at you. They're just desperate to fight. And it's a decent source of XP, so... Uh, I'm kind of just letting them. Also, Rog and Roll is already up to level 16. Oh, Krabby hits level 20 and picks up Bubble Beam. Sadly, I'm pretty sure that is, uh, yeah, special rather than physical. But it's a lot more powerful than Water Gun. So, yeah, we'll definitely be going over to that. All right, further down the road here and we've got ourselves, yeah. Oh, is that going to be hot by any chance? And it's someone yelling, bees. No, no, it's actually just a Wooloo and... Okay, um, I'm guessing he wasn't actually yelling bees at me. He was yelling bees at the, uh, the Wooloo. By any chance, are you the gym leader? Because I swear you were in the stadium a while ago. Also, your head looks really weird on your body. Like, I'm sorry, they just don't really, they just don't match. Are you okay? You took that tackle head on. And you'll be the gym leader and I just saved your sheep, so you're very welcome. My name's Milo, I'm a gym leader and rather partial to the grass-type Pokemon. Oh, my Growlithe is gonna destroy you, mate. Head on through this route, you'll run into my stadium. I'll see you there. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. And the sheep is very happy and singing along with everybody. Marvelous. And yeah, we've got ourselves a couple of Diglets in this area. If I wanted myself a Diglet, there are Diglets. That is... Uh, that's an Electrike over there. Help myself to an item, please. Just some silver powder. Ah, boost bug type moves. And uh, there's also something exciting over there. Hello, may as well just attack you, Mr. Pumpkin. Oh no, here's interesting. Stuffle's leveled up and is trying to learn strength. Which, is that still an HM move? Like, do I need that to move boulders? I mean, uh, it's not a bad move, to be honest. Yeah, forget an old move, absolutely, because strength was... Uh, it was never bad, so yeah, power 80. Not bad, not bad at all. So, uh, payback, that's doubled if I attack last. Brutal swing is pretty good. Uh, let's just get rid of Leah, we're not gonna be using Leah. So okay, uh, strength, Stuffle can now basically just power straight through anything, beating the hell out of it. Okay, Growlithe hits level 20 of just a random Meowth, but agility boosts speed by two levels. Uh, no, I think we'll be not bothering with that business. And Roselia hits level 22, 56. Not bad at all on special attack there. Very, very good indeed. And I believe I saw just around the corner. Oh, there's there's possibly a... Okay, nope, that's just another Meowth that wants to murder me first. I swear there's a trainer nearby, though. There we go. I thought there was a kid around the corner and a Joltik. Tiny little electric 
bug thing. In fact, yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw the grown-up one of you in the wild area, so uh, I'm guessing, under the right weather conditions, uh, I might have already been able to capture one of you, so that's fine. You're a bug, so nothing you can do to Growlithe. And the reason we came this way, uh, yellow Pokeball meaning, uh, TM07, Pin Missile, a bug type attack hitting two to five times, I believe. Uh, yeah, not a great attack, all things considered, but as there's some convenient pumpkins here, I'll gladly be murdering them. And I believe with those fields all completed, yes indeed, hang on, just need to grab myself a Diglett while I'm thinking about- Oh, okay, flipping juked me there. Right, get in the flipping ball, you. Diglett's are great, by the way. I genuinely love Diglett and Doug Trio. They're absolutely fantastic. A pure ground type that's very fast, hits pretty bloody hard, all things considered, and hang on, what ability do you have? Yep, Arena Trap. So the enemy Pokemon can't flee. Now in single player, of course, generally the AI doesn't bother fleeing. But in multiplayer, if your opponent's got something that's very weak to Earthquake, say, just sending out a Dog Trio so the opponent can't run away and then just killing them with Earthquake can be very, very good indeed. So yeah, these guys make very good revenge killers. But I'm pretty sure we're done here for the time being. And that means, uh, hello there, Hop. I'm guessing you don't want to fight, by the way, because I literally just fought a rival, you know, a better one, just two seconds ago. But yes, indeed, the arena, the stadium, the grass-type gym leader that I'm going to burn to ash. But apparently Sonya wants to speak to me first, and aha, I'm guessing that means we need to go and take care of that processing plant before it's time for the gym challenge. And just help me out, yes indeed, Yampa is right here to show me the way, just like he did to Leon back in the day. So, crack open the map here, and... Uh, okay. He just said, uh, go to the hill. Where's... where's the hill? Apparently it's right here, it's very close by, and... Uh, right, there's a little picture. Okay, I'm guessing it's over on the side of town for some reason. Sonia wants to speak to me. Yeah, I've got a feeling it's gonna be something to do with that mysterious processing plant that's secretly evil, where the slowpokes get ground into biofuel, something of that nature. But, I would say, ladies and gentlemen, that is enough for now. Next time, we will explore Turfield, we'll see what Sonya wants, and then it is time for our first gym battle. Now, I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling very good indeed. We got ourselves a couple of big fire types ready to lay the smack down, but the gym leader's gonna have something ready. Maybe like, um... What was it called? What was the, um, the grass water type in Generation 3? Like Ludicolo or something very much like that. Just so they've got something resistant to fire. I suspect the gym leader will have some form of trick up their sleeve. We'll have to see about that. Anyway, that is coming up very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Pokemon Shield. Thank you very much and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.